Hi everyone, today we have the FMS 118 scale Moggridge, which is um, very clearly an unlicensed version of a Mercedes Benz Unimog, which I'm a big fan of. Um, and I honestly had pretty low expectations for this, and I'm pretty late to the party regarding this truck because it has been out for a while. Um, but I have to say, first impressions of it when I got out of the box was really good. Um, I really, really like how this thing looks, and I'm very excited to um, put a battery in it and take it, out on, take it for a run. But before that, let's talk about it real quick um, on the desk, and I'll do some comparisons um, with previous FMS vehicles I've owned, as well as um, some other ones in the market. But without further ado, let's take a closer look at the FMS 118 scale Moggridge. So before we dig into the truck itself, let's take a look at the box art real quick. It's just a photograph of the Moggridge. But because it's very detailed, um, it looks very realistic, which is super cool. Um, some information about it here. Some other photos. Some other dimensions. You want to read that. And then another photo here with some other features listed. So, really nice box art. And then also the typical stereo styrofoam case that the car comes packed in. Um, environmentally speaking, it's not my favorite way to pack cars, but reusability wise, it's pretty nice to have a carrying case or storage case like that. So that's, that's pretty nice. Um, and then you also get this little card, which has the Moggridge as well as the real life um, insp inspiration back there. It has a pretty gaudy looking bumper on it, but it looks pretty cool. Just a little thank you note. Instruction manual um, in multiple languages. Probably worth a quick read just to figure out how to work the lights and stuff. Of course, the transmitter, typical FMS transmitter, and I keep calling it an FMS even though it does say Rock Hobby. Um, but as far as I can tell, Rock Hobby is just FMS's like sub brand, like cheaper brand, where they do like unlicensed, unlicensed cars. Um, hence why this is not licensed as a, as a Unimog and is being sold as a Moggridge. Um, but essentially it is basically an FMS. So finally looking at the truck, um, the first thing that really really blew me away was how good this truck looks. Um, it looks much better than I expected, it looks much better than it does in videos and stuff. I, I was just absolutely blown away of how nice this looks. I was not expecting the body to be painted, but it has this nice matte finish on it, um, which is very um, fitting for the Unimog. The kind of greenish paint is also very nice. Um, the bed also has this nice wood graining to it, and I think that would also look pretty cool. Kind of painted to look more like actual wood, but I suspect the actual Unimogs, as you can probably see from the other photo here, that the wooden bed and the real truck is also painted anyway, so that, that seems pretty pretty cool. Um, and I was especially blown away um, that the body was painted and um, the wheels it comes with are beadlocks and also seem like they're also painted interior and everything. I was really blown away because I was not expecting all that detail for just about $140 that I paid for this on Amazon. A more established brand like Traxxas. Here's, I don't have my TRX4M anymore but I do still have the body and you can see this is about $160, $150 depending on where you get it. Um, comes with no interior. The body is just injection molded in the color. 
Um, and same with the other FMS vehicle that I had, which was the FJ Cruiser, which also looks pretty nice, but was also not painted. It was just a, the color of the plastic itself. So, and then the only time I've seen a hard body with paint and a full interior is my Galande 2, 118 scale Galande 2. And this is a much more expensive vehicle compared to this. This is probably around twice the price of the FMS vehicle. So to get a fully detailed, fully full interior painted um, Unimog and also with a functioning bed, that's just super, super cool. Um, and I think it's really good value just from a model standpoint um, on its own. But on top of that, the just like the other 18 scale FMS vehicles and rock hobby vehicles, your uh, standard rock hobby FMS battery to sell lipo. It also does come with a charger, which is nice. And the hood opens to access all that, which is cool. Um, with the on and off switch here. It also features headlights and taillights. And I love the little taillight detail back here, which also looks pretty accurate for a Unima. And overall, I'm just like really, really blown away and really happy with the level of detail that this truck has. Another super cool feature about the 18 scale FMS vehicles is the lighting. Um, it's featured with full headlights and taillights, um, and ironically, the transmitter also has headlights on it. Kind of has like the front of a car kind of sitting up here. But to activate the lights, you set your transmitter here there's an a mode and a b mode you set it to the b mode here and then you can toggle through the settings using your throttle trim so here we have on high beam and off and then for the tail lights um, they will operate when you reverse or brake I wish the taillights would stay on the whole time and not just rever um, turn on when the reverse lights are on or have that function to white LED so it's actually reverse lights though that shouldn't be too hard to modify to have that stay on but mostly the ability to control your lighting from your radio is just super super cool and something that um, other vehicles, more expensive vehicles, and more name brand vehicles don't really offer. So that's super cool of um, FMS to offer all those features. And just like all the other FMS and rock hobby vehicles, I think this is a super, super good value. And is probably gonna be really enjoyable, both for someone who is into RC and someone who's just into scale models. Um, there's plenty to, plenty to enjoy for both kind of hobbyists. Um, with this model so um, super excited to kind of customize it and run it and just put it on the trail and stuff my only real complaint about this truck is I wish it came with the portal axles you can see the track width of this truck is a little bit narrow because the axles are not really meant for this body um, I know that FMS does make portal axles now through the FCX 24 so it would be really cool for them to release, even if it's a more expensive version, a newer version of the Mogridge with those portal axles. I think that would be a fantastic um, little model. Perhaps if they went and did a fully um, full licensed version of the Unimog, they could kind of finish, finish off the whole look by installing those um, portal axles on it. Otherwise, you should be able to pick those up yourself and add them to your, uh, add them yourself to this truck um, to get that full Unimog experience.
Otherwise, the electronics and the motor, the axles, everything else is just the same as your other 18 scale FMS vehicles. Um, you can even see the servo literally says FMS on it. Um, this is just like a shortened, a shortened wheelbase version of all those other 18 scale cars and you can tell that it's a shortened wheelbase because if you see the rear shocks, they're kind of angled this way because this chassis originally wasn't meant to have this short of a wheelbase. So there's no actual proper shock mounting um, for the rear so the rear shocks are kind of positioned in a, a weird way but I think it still works pretty well. Um, the shocks, from what I've seen, can be uh, modified to be oil filled, um, but otherwise, I think for this scale, it's pretty typical to see pogo shocks like this. And for a truck like this, um, it kind of adds to the character to have a little bit of bounce like that. So I don't really mind the lack of oil shocks on this. And to do some size comparisons, you saw the TRX4 body there. Um, so it's set around here. So you saw the RC4 wheel drive, 18 scale. There's an SCX24. You can see it's significantly smaller. And then a Element Enduro 24. Again, pretty small compared to the Unimog. Let's get a battery in this and take it for a quick run. I have some obstacles set up here with some books and whatnot. Um, and let's see how this thing runs. So throttle resolution is very, very good with this model. You can see here, even on the, the slippery whiteboard surface, these tires are gripping pretty well. Enough clearance to make it up there as well. Turning around, coming back down. A little bit forward heavy. Mine also doesn't seem to want to keep the hood closed for some reason. But the much larger wheels and tires on the Magritte, um, as well as the shorter wheelbase, is definitely helping its performance a lot compared to some of the other models. As far as top speed goes, you can see it's not the fastest vehicle in the world. It is just a sing single gear transmission. But I think for the scale, it's, it gets on pretty nicely. And it's definitely um, geared more for heavy off-roading rather than speed, which is good for this kind of vehicle. 
You've also probably seen the Margaret Tob uh, carry some pretty crazy things. But how about a whole Clodbuster? There goes the Margaret. We can even get some steering in. Still fully functioning. So overall, I'm very happy with this purchase and very, very impressed with the Moggridge as well. Um, not only is it super, super detailed, it's a great value. Um, it performs pretty well um, on like crawling situations, trail truck situations. You saw it kind of carry a whole Clodbuster on carpet and be completely fine. Um, so very, very impressed with this car. And I really hope that FMS and Rock Hobby continue to release uh, more body styles of this 18 scale line. Um, it's no wonder why these trucks are so popular. It looks great, performs great, um, and it's overall a very good purchase. Um, as a final note, if you're kind of cross shopping this with more name brand ones like the um, SEX24 or the Galande 2, um, or the TRX4 um, Just so you don't have to go to a different video to find out um, Even maybe I'll do a separate video about it as well, but um, if you're thinking about it Thinking about it cross shopping. Um, it's not really gonna be a competitor to the 24 Just because it's a completely different size and also kind of different purpose, I guess um, but if you're comparing it to the Galandi 2 or the TRX4 um, M, I would probably just get this again. Um, part support and upgrade path is pretty decent at this point and pretty easy to find on Amazon, on eBay, on various websites. This thing, while I do really like, um, is pretty overpriced. So unless you specifically want this body style or you specifically want to support RC4 wheel drive or something like that, I would probably never recommend the Galandi 2. Again, I absolutely adore mine, but at this point, there's so many other better options in the market, so I think this one's pretty much off the table. But between the TRX4M and the 18 scale FMS vehicles, again, the TRX4 is gonna have um, probably a, a little bit better performance, um, but also this can easily be upgraded with a two-speed transmission, with a low-speed transmission, different wheels and tires, different bodies. It's pretty neck and neck, and I think overall the, the FMS is a better value, comes with the lights, comes with much better electronics, I think, um, function-wise anyway, comes with a full interior. I just I just think the FMS vehicles are a better value. Maybe some Traxxas fan people, uh, fans are gonna get mad at me for that. But I hope everyone enjoyed this video um, about the Rock Hobby FMS Moggridge. Um, and as always, I hope everyone has a great day and have fun with RC.